I'm of the belief to clean a little bit and clean often. And this is even more important in a small Japanese apartment, which I wanna show you now. This is what it's like here in Abeno in Osaka, Japan. This is us here. Got my bike, Osaka Moonrider. Beautiful layer. Walking through the front door. Shoes by the door. Bed hanging. Boom. Desk. Got my boys. My boy. Yeah. So as you can see, you know, everything has its space. And instead of letting things build up, you know, to create a big mess, just clean a little bit here and there. Clean the dishes right after you eat. You know, clean the kitchen as often as you can. Living in a small apartment makes you get rid of things that you don't need or you don't really use. And you know, it's a great way to uh, keep things clean and organized. Boom, front door. And I must say, I'm paying about a fifth of what I paid in San Diego for a studio. Granted, this place is a bit smaller, but this is all I really need at the moment. Having a small space, you know, makes me hit the streets more and just get out there when I wanna chill and just go to a park to read and enjoy the city that I live in. I've wanted this kind of experience for, for years, just a small apartment in a bustling city. So this is the bathroom clean it as often as possible. Just a little bit here and there instead of just letting things build up. Got the balcony. Boom. Beautiful day in Osaka. Small washing machine on the balcony. Pretty much it. Now you gotta keep things organized with containers. Set to podcast station slash kitchen. And that's pretty much it. Having a small space, knowing what makes you happy, I think is important. We think we want more things just because we're kind of supposed to. More things to fill our house and more things to make us happy. But I've realized that I don't need much. I just want a small space that makes me happy. And this place does fill me with a lot of joy. Got this in Kyoto, the dancing skeleton. And that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed.